You guys see my life is so complicated. I have to do TikTok and YouTube at the same time. There's so much pressure. How does James Charles do all of this? Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice? It is way too smoky in here. Way, 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 way. Hi guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Halloween. It's October and I think that it is time for all the entertainment. And this, believe it or not, is the one and only Beetlejuice inspired by the movie by Kevin Costner and the Broadway musical that I got to see. So exciting. This look probably looks so intricate, so complicated. Created by the one, the only, V. Neal. But this is so so easy this look is disgusting this look is a little bit gross but nonetheless it is an iconic Beetlejuice look say my name three times subscribe to my channel don't forget makeup is a one size fits all and let's just jump right in to the video all right guys like i said this look is so easy i'm so excited it is the halloween season 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 where did the time go? Coronavirus! So first things first, I want to show you a couple different whites. There is the MAC Chroma Cake in pure white. There is Paradise Paint in the color white by Mayron. There is also the Mayron Stick, cream stick in the color white. And there is the powder to set it all together. This is the Ben Nye Super White Professional Loose Powder. Y'all know I love the Ben Nye loose powders and things. But also for some precision, if you guys want a little bit more um, fancy fancy, there is the Acrylic Paints by MAC in the color Pure White as well. And these are amazing. You can only find these in MAC Pro. If they still got those. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So it's been a while since I've been bald and the last time I was bald was the genie. <laughs> 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck. And I use the paradise paint, which I love. And I believe it is water activated if my memory serves me correct. So right next to me, I have a little bowl, a little matcha bowl of water with my very, very favorite Morphe M439 brush. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is take a little bit of water, just like so. You got the angles. I'm gonna do a little bit of this, do a little bit of that, and we're just gonna go ahead and take it and just douse. And you wanna find the right consistency when it comes to your base. Now, because Beetlejuice is so fucking ugly, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay if you're giving me Patrick Star 2012. It's fine. So what we're gonna see, that is just like a night out in WeHo. That is disgusting, sisters. Am I a fucking YouTuber or what? What is wrong with me? Zachary sabotaged me. Remember my assistant Zachary? This is what he f***ing told me. Please hold while I do a TikTok at the same time. And if you're watching, please follow me. So, uh, just like, just do it. Okay, okay. Hi. I'll be your guide. Yeah. Alright guys, now that I did a little of the TikTok, I'm gonna go ahead and complete. You see how this is just going on, and I will say um, what I learned from the Tatcha founder, Vicky Sly, that white is the most difficult complexion to perfect because of the geishas and the geckos of Japan, hence uh, the beautiful skincare. So, you know, you wanna make sure your white base is kind of perfect with your skin because white reveals a lot. You guys see, I think I found like the perfect consistency, but you know, if you're a beginner, and you wanna just slay the Halloween party with your close group, go ahead and just layer on this white. But you know what, if it's not perfect, it's okay because Beetlejuice is fucking ugly. I will say, when you do face paint a couple of times, you will kind of find the rhythm and the texture. It's almost like grandma with her batter and the cookies and the cakes and things. If you're doing makeup, you'll find like a nice opacity and texture and feel 
of the brush against the product to get like your desired texture that really sits on your skin well. Like sometimes, when I first did the Genie, that was like my first time ever doing something so opaque. And you wanna make sure there's a nice balance. All right, so this is the completed texture. It's okay if it's a little bit splotchy, streaky, all the above, because Beetlejuice is a little bit gross. He's not as glam as all of us girls out there. So I'm gonna go ahead and set everything with the Ben Nye Super White Loose Powder. Put this on a little plate. And we're just gonna go ahead and take a puff and then pat everything. And bam, you know, y'all know a good, good bake. And this powder, if you could tell, it's a pure white, so it kind of like sets in the skin. If you want to be a clown this year, or if you felt played, and you want to get into some clown makeup, go ahead and get the super white powder. It's really, really good. <laughs> I breathed it in. Hold your breath when you do this. I strongly advise it. Don't forget to fold your ear forward and get the back of your ear, okay? All right, guys, so over here, I have the reference for the eyes. That's what I'm going to go ahead and do next, is get the dark purple eyeshadow and I'm gonna go ahead and take the acrylic paint by MAC in the color rich purple and kind of etch out this hollow skeleton dead but caricature looking eye. There is no right or wrong way of doing this. Just have fun. <laughs> All right, for this one, it's so easy because it's not drag where you have to cover your brows. If you're a man watching or a what man or a boy or a girl, oh my God. <laughs> oh. My God, that was so scary. <laughs> my life flashed before my eyes and now I can't see. What I was saying is that the best part about this look is that you don't have to cover and conceal your brows with the glue stick. God damn it, it's fine. So use your brow as like a guide for the little skeletal eye you're about to do. And make sure when you're doing the white, not to put too much white on the eye. And we're gonna just go for it. I love acrylic paints. When I used to work at MAC, these were so fun to use around this time of year. And if you guys wanna stock up on your Halloween kit or get something high grade and professional like MAC, these are so good, the acrylic paints. You can always mix them too. You don't have to get all the colors, but they do have all the colors, um, but you can just get primary colors and mix as you go. All right guys, so next that the eyes are done. See, they're not perfect, but they look expressive. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take this any mascara. It doesn't have to be prestige, it could be drugstore, whatever you like, but as long as you do this trick. And I learned this when I was in the nativity play back when I was a young little boy, okay? So you're gonna take a little bit of mascara. I was one of the three shepherds, yes, believe it or not. We took the mascara and this is what we did, just to look grown, okay? You take a little bit of the mascara off and you're left with like very little. And I know Beetlejuice, played by Kevin Costner, who was also in the boss, you got, who was also Batman. Name a few more down below. I don't know where I was going, but I was going here. We're just gonna take a little bit of this. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I was trying to do something. <laughs> see? There, there you go. Look, you see that? Yeah, there we go. It doesn't have to be perfect, because it's gonna be ugly. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of this liquid lipstick, just any dark red. The one that I happen to be using is the Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color and the color Self Portrait. We're gonna do a little bit of that, um, you know, trendy popsicle lip. I don't look like Patrick Star anymore. Where did he go? All right, guys, I do wanna shout out the one of the most amazing makeup artists of our time, and all you kids need to know who it is, the one and only, not Kevin Costner, V. Neal. She's worked on every major movie you could think of. I love you, V. Neal. She's been a judge in the Knicks Face Awards that I was once a part of before. She's an inspiration. She's a teacher and educator and a super talented artist. And I love her. Love you, V. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and take this Black Marin Paradise paint. So good. I'm gonna take a little bit of a stippling brush and just like, just go ham on the contours. I'm gonna go ahead and add some stippling just to give me a little bit of dimension because right now I look like Baymax from Big Hero 6, and that's not the look. Oh, that would be kind of a good costume. This is the key part right here. Just make it dirty. I'm using a little bit of the black to make it like gray to kind of give me that dirty look because the white was just so pristine because I'm a beauty girl. I don't mean just break my to lie. Ah, but my dash name, dash name. You know, I thought I wasn't doing anything, but <laughs> I'm doing something. So I took the brush, I added a little bit of water because it was mixing a little bit with the loose powder, and I'm just gonna go ahead and just add like spots of dimension. And again, the beauty about this Beetlejuice tutorial is to not be perfect. I know you guys are used to seeing me so perfect, but 
today that's not the case. All right guys, next I'm gonna go ahead and take this Mayron Paradise paint in the color Lime, and as you can see right here, Kevin Costner is surrounded by the green Moss and Luke by V. Neal, and she's splattering it on, but I don't wanna get to make a mess right now, so I'm gonna use the same stippling brush I washed it, and we're just gonna go ahead and splatter this, well, stipple it, all over my face. Just have fun. Oh, also don't forget to add some right here, like as if he just like threw up right here on the corner of his mouth. Like that's good, that is some good good right there. And the way you wanna do this is wherever you put the black, just kind of like surround the areas, add a little bit of green. And I had my wig done by my friend Angel, P. usual, and I asked for a receding hairline. So we're gonna go ahead and just add a lot of green right there so it blends into the hair. You know when you're really sick after a long night um, drinking, something comes out your nose. That's just how it happens. So we're just gonna apply some around the nose. Right here, and don't forget to surround just a little bit right here. I look crazy. Y'all Beetlejuice don't ate good before he left, okay? Yeah, I look ugly. Next, we're gonna take the Paradise Paint. These are so freaking good, I swear. This is Amazon Green Paradise Paint. Again, dipping the brush in a little bit of water right here. And now this one is just gonna bring this to life. So wherever you put that lime green, boom, 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 boom. And y'all know I love green. If I had the choice, I would be alphabet again if I had it my way or the highway. But I will mention I did see Beast Juice in Broadway because I'm a Broadway connoisseur and it was the absolute best show that I have seen Peter, myself, and Fame. Oh my God, this story. Oh my God. Oh. So we sat down, we got tickets so last minute in the show. The funny part was there was a lady also in the last row of the orchestra to my left and I was in the aisle, right? And because I'm, I'm so peculiar and I'm wanting to be in disguise, I had a wig on. Imagine me in my long black wig, no makeup, in sweats, trying to enjoy my time at the Broadway. But to my surprise, I see a flash in my direction, and lo and behold, it was a picture of me from her on her phone. And quickly I prompted my brother, Peter, to tiptoe over, promptly before the show started. This is a true story, I think the actor just makes it better. And I was like, Peter, Peter, she's in the last row. Go check, go check, brother, what she's captioning the photo for her Instagram. This is crazy, Peter went over, was like, oh, it is a picture of you. And then Peter looked and looked and, zoom in for effect, zoom in for effect. Peter looked and looked at the photo, and she typed, I see, L-I-Z-Z-O. Lizzo! Zoom out, zoom out. And I said, oh my God, Lizzo! <laughs> Poor woman thought I was Lizzo watching Beetlejuice in the last row. I love Lizzo. She was mistaken. It was not Lizzo. It was Patrick Star. That was a journey. And the show was just incredible. And throughout intermission, she kept staring and staring, thinking I was Lizzo. So to my surprise and my distraction, I got a little carried away with the green. So hence me bringing back the white. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take the white and just stipple a little bit back. This is fine, it's a mess, but that's okay. Emulate this hairline that I know what my wig looks like. You see how it's coming together? There, 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 there. There's the hairline, do you guys see it? Do you guys see it? Yep, there it is. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take the Point Made Gel Eyeliner in the color Bodacious Black. This literally is so creamy, so wonderful, so waterproof. So I'm gonna go ahead and just highlight my eyes just to add some dimension and get the fleshy tones out. And I'm just doing this liberally on my lower lash line. Next, I'm gonna take a black eyeshadow called Turban Legend. This is so, so, so black. And I'm gonna go ahead and take it on a little blending brush. And that is the Visionary Palette by One Size Beauty. I'm gonna go ahead and smoke this out just to give a little bit of depth. I'm gonna add a little bit of tired eyes right here just to make him like dead looking. And then I'm gonna add like a little bit of dimension here like on the outside, just kind of like depth right here. You guys know I'm a very glamorous artist. I'm not like special effects, but I just like to have fun and just play. And that's how the genie came about. So I'm just taking suits of what I know, doing the reverse, not glam. Just be ugly. 
All right, guys, so I found a little bit of a gray shadow. Next is like the shading because they still look so pretty and glamorous. Just kidding. I'm gonna take a little bit of this tapered brush and NARS Kingston. And I'm just gonna shade in my lines and wrinkles. It's gonna be hard to find. Where are you? Can't mind you. Okay, now it's time for the wig. That way I can add the moss and properly shape around the hairline, the makeup and the detail. And because I don't want to glue some of this prop moss that we got them from the craft store um, in places where it shouldn't be. So I'm going to go ahead and take this wig done by my beautiful friend and Tal's a friend, Angel. You guys should follow him on Instagram and plop this on and glue it to my bald head. This is the, this is the best thing about being bald. Just shave it and go. Okay, so let's do a little cute time lapse and show you guys how I put on this wig. <laughs> Don't I look like Oprah? All right, guys, after the wig is on, I'm gonna go ahead and take some spirit glue and apply a little bit of moss here and there until my heart's content, and I am just gonna place it. All right, last but not least to complete the look, I'm gonna go ahead and take some mascara. This is my mascara and my mascara only. And I'm just gonna brush my teeth with it, okay? This is all I got. Use what you got, use what you have access to. Mascara is pretty much accessible anywhere. So without further ado, brush your teeth. Awesome, I'm gonna go ahead and change and I'll be right back for this finished look. All right guys, this is the finished tutorial! <laughs> Looks so crazy! Guys, believe it or not, this is the less glamorous side of me, Patrick Star here on YouTube. Halloween is a time for me to be not dragged, not so glamorous, but disgusting and crazy and characteristic. This is so crazy. Shout out to Peter for being my Lydia. He slayed it. He is so gorgeous. We did a bunch of TikToks together, so be sure to follow him and I. But nonetheless, this look is actually quite ooky spooky, but easy. Guys, look at this receding hairline, the moss, the green, the costume, the whole fantasy. Try it at home. There are millions of other tutorials here on YouTube. Shout out to all of you that have created it before me. But I just thought I would give my touch on the one and only Beetlejuice makeup. If you guys want to see more videos like this, if you guys want to see my Cardi B Watt video, be sure to check that out. Subscribe to my channel. Please tell me what you guys want to be for Halloween. Shout out any ideas because I still need ideas from my channel. I love you so much. Remember, makeup is a one-size-fits-all. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye. Boom. <laughs> I scared you, didn't I? Casper, but I'll stop. Pick a f color. Shit. Why is my poop black this week? <laughs>